it's interesting. When we design our studies, we provide diets that are high in starch, and then we take away that starch and replaced it with sugar. Why do we even see such unfavorable effects when we replace pasta, or let's say bread, with a fructose sweetened beverage, or let's even say a high fructose corn syrup sweetened beverage? Well, to answer that question, we're going to start first with the glucose. All the grains that we eat and we call carbs are pretty much pure glucose. And it goes into our bloodstream slowly because it takes a while for those enzymes in the intestine to break it all down. The glucose leaves the intestine in what we call the portal vein. And that vein's first stop is the liver. If the liver needs energy, that liver is going to pull the glucose in. If the liver has enough energy, most of the glucose bypasses the liver and is delivered to the rest of the body. It gets to be used by any other place in the body that needs glucose. Now with fructose, it's different. We're talking about fructose in the fructose sweetened beverages our subjects consumed, but we're also talking about the fructose in sodas because high fructose corn syrup contains fructose. So Fructose is in the intestine, and it too is delivered directly to the liver. However, there's an enzyme there that's always turned on. So it takes any fructose it can get its hands on, even if the liver has enough energy. Very little fructose gets delivered to the rest of the body. So what we end up is this fructose overload in the liver. It needs to start storing it as fat. When you increase your levels of liver fat, you're going to have more fat heading out into the blood. With more fat heading out in the blood, you end up with higher levels of triglyceride and cholesterol. Both of them risk factors for cardiovascular disease. There's another problem. We believe liver fat decreases insulin's ability to do its job. That increases our risk of diabetes. There's another problem. When your insulin isn't working well, it also causes more fructose to be turned into fat. And it also is going to increase the amount of fat that liver sends into the blood. There's another problem. The group that consumed fructose tended to gain that weight within the abdominal cavity. This is what we call visceral fat that makes us apple-shaped. So what we have is this vicious cycle going on. That's really why metabolic syndrome tends to be a group of problems. They make this little vicious cycle where one makes the other worse, and they just go around in this circle. But what we all need to do is get to the point where sugar is a special occasion food. It's not a staple. And that's where we need to think about our foods and what they can be doing to our health.